Good morning, everyone. Let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Perfect. Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here with a video on how to use the .tfignore file to ignore the packages folder when using NuGet with Team Foundation Server version control. Because you can restore your packages during your automated build, there's no need to store them in version control. This video will show you everything you need to do to make sure your packages folder is ignored. First, let me show you the problem. Here, I have a simple class library project configured to use Team Foundation Server version control in Visual Studio Team Services. When I add a NuGet package to my project, the packages folder gets added to the pending changes. However, I do not want my packages folder checked into version control. Let's uninstall the package and see what it takes to have those files ignored. The step I think most people forget is restarting Visual Studio. If you create the .tfignore file and the nuget.config file, which we will do in a minute, but do not restart Visual Studio, none of your changes will take effect. Before we restart Visual Studio, we are going to create all the files and folders we need. Open Source Control Explorer and add a new folder. Name the folder .nuget. This folder has to be at the solution level. You will want to do this from Source Control Explorer because you cannot create a folder that starts with a period from Windows Explorer. While we are in Source Control Explorer, remove the Packages folder from the version control by undoing those changes. With that folder created, we can now create our files. The first file we are going to create is a simple text file named .tfignore. This file will hold patterns that describe the files we want tfvc to ignore so they are not added to our pending changes. The next file we need to create is a XML file to configure the behavior of nuget.exe. By default, nuget.exe is configured to add files in the packages folder to version control. Even with the .tfignore file in place, if we do not add this file, the packages folder will still be added. There is a blog at donovanbrown.com that accompanies this video where you can find the contents of this file. This file must be saved in the .nuget folder we created a moment ago. Save the file as nuget.config. With all our files in place, simply close Visual Studio and reopen your solution. Once your solution is opened, open the pending changes window so we can verify the packages folder is not added. Now simply add a NuGet package. As you can see, the packages folder is now being ignored. So there you have it. With the nuget.config and .tfignore files, you can now have Team Foundation Server version control properly ignore the packages folder. Until next time, I'm Donovan Brown.